Well, hello, everybody. We are back. We're talking about congruent triangles mostly. We've had a lot of fun. This is the homework for today, and we're going to see how this goes. Um, I already have the answers in here, but we're going to talk about each one on this particular one. Number one, what do we trust? Do we trust the picture or do we trust the name? And the answer is the name. We're going to go by the name. So I'm not even going to look at the pictures. We know that the corresponding parts of congruent triangles have to be congruent. That's one of our big ideas. So like we know angle A is going to be congruent. Let me fix that real quick. We know that angle A is in the same position as angle X. So angle A and angle X are going to be congruent. We know that angle B is going to be congruent to angle Y. And we know that angle C is going to be congruent to angle Z. So we know all of this because of the positions they're in in the name, right? Remember that the corresponding parts of congruent triangles must be congruent. Um, this also works for all the side lengths. So what about side AB? AB is going to be congruent to XY. We know that AC is in the same position as XZ. And then we know BC is going to be the same as YZ. So those are all the corresponding parts. You can find the, you know, these are the answers. Um, but there we go. That's all we're doing there. Um, next situation, once again, I am focusing on this statement. The pictures are not necessarily drawn correctly. So for instance, you see how this one is, like this angle is called triangle ABC, right? Triangle ABC. ABC is top, left, right. Well, what is FDE? That's top, right, left. They are not drawn in the same order. If you really want, could you redraw the second triangle so that it goes top, left, right? Yes, you could. Now they're in the same order. Now that they're in the same order, we can trust the picture a little bit more. But originally, we couldn't trust the picture. They told us that FE is 10x minus 5. Well, what do we know about FE? We know that FE is equal to AC. We know that from the name, or after we draw it, are they on the same side? Yes. But if you went by the original picture, it wouldn't have looked correct. So we know that 10X minus five has to equal 20. So 10X has to equal 25. So X has to equal 25 over 10. Do we leave our answers like that? No, you must be fully reduced to get full credit. Five halves is the answer I'm looking for there. So what do people mess up is they look at the original picture and they see FE is here and they think it equals 15, and that's not true. FE, based off the name, must go with AC. Next problem, same situation. Is it the same problem? Let's see, top, left, right. Um, FDE, same issue. So I'm going to redraw it again. So I want to go top, F, left, right. So I'm not going to use that picture. I'm going to use the one I just drew. So what are the things that we know? We know that angle E is 64 degrees, which means angle C is 64 degrees. We know that B is X minus 9. We know that this is X minus 9. And that's all we know. We don't know the third angle. We don't know anything else. We haven't learned trigonometry yet, so there's nothing else we can actually do here, guys. Um, so we just got to say not enough information. We don't have enough information to solve anything here. All right, these, some of these are going to be more obvious than others. Um, if more than one option is valid, state the more obvious reason. Sometimes there's more than one right answer, but we're talking about the one that takes less work to get there. Um, the first one, we have three angles. Well, angles don't determine the size. This triangle might be the size of the moon. This triangle might be the size of the sun. We don't know. We know that they're similar. They do look the same, but we don't have enough information to say they're congruent. And remember, any I is like saying IDK. It just means I don't know. I need more information, right? Any I, not enough information is given. Um, this particular one, remember I told you guys, you have to mark your picture for your answer. So they have two sides marked, but they, both shapes use this third side. This third side is a shared side. You need to mark it, and that would give us three sides. Well, if three sides are equal to three sides, then we know 
by SSS that they're congruent. Similar situation, we have a shared side. So sometimes it helps if you highlight the triangles. Like in this purple triangle, what do we have going on? We've got two sides, and where is that angle? That is the included angle. Is the other triangle the exact same configuration? I know it gets real messy sometimes, but we have two sides and the included angle. So two sides and the included angle is called SAS. Included means in between. If their picture had looked something like this, where you had these, you know, where you had two sides and like this angle, for instance, like this corner, um, that is the non-included side. This would be two sides and a non-included angle. Um, if they had given me this angle down here, that would have been two sides and a non-included angle. That would have been SSA, which as we know, does not work. So because they gave us the included angle, the angle in between the two sides, um, we've got to say that this is SAS. And if we look back, you know, clean it all up, we have two sides and the included angle for each triangle. Here, what is something that we know that they didn't tell us? Well, we know that these vertical angles must be congruent. So once again, don't think about like, which direction do I go? Something like, which direction do I go? Is it ASA? No, it's not about direction, guys. It's not about direction. The question is, is it included or not? I have two angles and a side. Where's the side? Is it in between the two angles? No. That, that would be this side. This is the side that is included. That is not the side we have, right? Like if they had given us this side, that is the included side. Well, where's this side? It is called a non-included side, right? This side is the included side. The other two are both non-included. So we have angle, angle, side, and it is a non-included side. And we have the same configuration on both triangles. They are both two angles and a non-included side. Hardest one on the whole thing. If I focus just on this blue triangle, forget about what we've been doing recently. Just what would we know? If these two sides are equal, that means these two angles are equal. Sometimes it helps to like put a number. Let's say it's like 50 degrees. Then this corner would have to also be 50 degrees. Well, the same situation is happening over here. These two sides are equal, so these two angles are equal, and they marked the outside ones the same. So if the, out, the bottom left was 50, the, the, the right one was 50. Basically, all four of these angles end up being the same size. So let's clean it up. Let's go back. What did it look like? What did it look like? Oh, hitting the wrong button. Hitting the wrong button. Going the wrong way. Going the wrong way. We can fix it. We can fix it. Okay. We have two more angles than they told us about. That is because of the isosceles triangles. These two angles are equal because of these two sides and then the same thing in the other triangle. So what we have here is we have a couple things we could say. We could say SS non-included angle, but that's never an answer. SSA does not prove congruency. You're never going to give that to me as an answer. So that's out. We're not going to say that. Um, so what could we say instead? Well, let, let me mark those again, sorry. Could we do angle, angle, non-included side matches angle, angle, non-included side? Ooh, that's what we said. So it's angle, angle, non-included side. That's what we're going for. How about on this one? We got a shared side. Three sides match three sides, SSS. Here we have... A right angle, remember when there's a right angle, HL is on the menu. It doesn't mean it's going to be HL, but this one is HL. Hypotenuse and leg. Hy that's a leg, sorry. Hypotenuse and leg. So we, what is hypotenuse leg? It, it means it must be a right triangle. You must have the hypotenuse. You must have the leg. If I had a right triangle where I knew like these two sides, that's just SAS. That's two sides in the included angle. Even though that angle is 90, that's still an SAS. That's not what we have here. We have two sides. It's actually a non-included angle. Um, so do you actually see that this is SSA, two sides and a non-included angle? But that non-included angle is a 90. So we call it HL. And HL does prove congruency. SSA does not. All right, there's actually a lot of triangles in here, but the only triangles they gave us stuff for were these right angles. So HL is an option, but it is not a guarantee. Um, I'm going to focus on the left 
triangle that uses a 90. If we look at this and the right triangle that uses a 90, they both use the bottom side. So like if I just draw that blue triangle over here, what do I have? I have a 90 and a side, but that's it. We don't know anything else. It's all we got. So we're stuck. We need something else. You need three pieces to build a triangle. We don't have three pieces. We got two. So we need more information. Not enough information is given there, guys. Um, next one, we have these vertical angles. Mark them right away. So we have angle, angle, where's the side? We have angle, angle, non-included side. Do we have the same thing over here? Yes, we do. Angle, angle, non-included side. Boom, got it. All right, these questions get a little bit different. This says AD bisects BE. This is given to us, so let's mark that. AD bisects BE. That means that BE is cut in half, right? BE is the one being bisected. If we were writing a proof, we would say that CB is congruent to CE, and that would just be definition of bisector. What additional information is needed to say angle, angle, side? We're trying to get angle, angle, side out of this. Well, let's look at the picture. What do we have right now? We have vertical angles. Let's mark them. Um, if I knew these two angles were equal, that would be angle, side, angle. I don't want angle, side, angle. So that's out. I need A and D to be equal. If A and D were equal, wouldn't I have angle, angle, side, for both triangles, is that a choice? Yes, it is. So A and D are equal. Ignore the fact there's two, you know, eh. sorry about that. So yes, A. if A was equal to D, we would have angle, angle, side. What additional information is needed to prove that the triangles are congruent by SAS? Well, they mark these little angles at the top the same. We have a shared side. That's nice. We want to say SAS. What side would we need? Well, if this was a match, that would be SSA. So that's not it. We don't want SSA. Um, we want SAS. What if this side matched this side? Would we have two sides and the included angle? Yes. So I need this side to be equal to this side. Is that a choice? There it is. AB is congruent to AD. Got it. If that happened, we would then have SAS. Um, and actually, I'm going to take a minute here because I know people get confused on these. What are the other options? They said AB is perpendicular to AD. Well, if AB was perpendicular to AD, that would be a 90-degree angle. That would give you HL. No one. That would give you AAS on one triangle but not the other. So that one's not helpful. That just gives you the third piece for one triangle. How about if BAC, angle BAC, is equal to DAC? They already told us that. They marked it that way. So this we already know. How about CBA, that's this angle, and CDA, that's this angle? Well, that would be angle, angle, non-included side. That would be AAS. So this one's AAS. This one's nothing. This one's nothing. This is the only one that gives us SAS, which is what we're looking for. What other information is needed to prove that the triangles are congruent? Again, SAS is what we're looking for. Um, so if I'm looking at this, I got a shared side. Which angle do I need? Look at what I got. I got these two sides. Where's the included angle? It's this guy right here. I need these two angles to be equal. That's what I need. Do any of these give me that? Let's just kind of go down the list like I did on the last one. So what about BAC, that's this angle, and DAC? That would be side-side angle, which doesn't do anything. So this would be side-side angle, which doesn't work. That would be an NEI situation. How about if AC was perpendicular to BD? AC, oh, that would make this 90 and this 90. There we go. There's SAS for you. This is the one we want. Ding, ding, ding. Um. To keep the party rolling, let's look at what the other ones would give us, though. AB is parallel to AD. Oh, gosh. I mean, that's hard to even envision because we see that they hit. Um, I, I don't like it. How about if AC was congruent to BD? Um, BD is this entire side. That Them being congruent wouldn't do much for me. No. 
Like that one even like these don't really give me anything. So this is the this is the right answer. None of the other ones actually even give you any congruent shapes. All right, that's the end of the road. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I'll see you next time.